Hello and welcome to Dia's Funplay. In today's video, let's learn the important parts of a guided ballistic missile. Igniter. An igniter provides the required heat source to ignite rocket engines. Pyrogen igniters are used for large rocket motors of ballistic missiles, and pyrotechnic igniters are used for small rocket motors. Warhead. A warhead is the forward section of a device that contains an explosive agent that is delivered by a missile, rocket, torpedo, or a bomb. Equipment room. For missile control. Fuel tank. Alcohol plus water mixture. Suction line. The suction line is a section of piping in a pump system, which extends from the extraction point to the pump. Oxidizer tank. Liquid oxygen for combustion of fuel. Hydrogen peroxide tank. Hydrogen is a light and extremely powerful rocket propellant. It has the lowest molecular weight of any known substance and burns with extreme intensity. Thrust stand. Thrust stands are commonly used to test rocket motors and engines. Turbo pump. A turbo pump in a rocket engine consists of a pump that delivers fuel or oxidizer to the thrust chamber where the propellants are brought to react and increase in temperature. Stabilizing fin. Stabilizing fin mounted on a rocket acts in such a way to oppose unwanted rolling motions of the vehicle and thus contribute to its stability. Fuel line. A fuel line is a hose or a pipe used to transfer fuel from one point to another point in a vehicle. Engine. Rocket engines are reaction engines, producing thrust by ejecting mass rearward, in accordance with Newton's third law. Antenna. For sending and receiving details. Star table. An above-ground facility from which a rocket-powered missile or space vehicle is vertically launched. Thruster. A thruster is a propulsion device used for attitude control or long duration, low thrust acceleration, often as part of a reaction control system. Spoilers. Spoilers are small, hinged plates on wings. They are used to disrupt or spoil the flow of air over a section of a wing 